Tonight's highlights are brought to you by Hudson Cadillac Buick GMC. We're a good deal better. New Paul's in Goshen pushed to Sunday because of the heat on Saturday and the heat disrupted play again with a short heat index delay forcing both teams to sit it out and wait. So what do teams talk about when they're sitting idle and waiting? Lights, they're gonna set up the lights. Portable lights. Yeah. You just have people standing on ladders with flashlights. Well, the road to history was a long one for these New Paul's girls, playing together for the past eight or nine years, so history had to wait a little longer. But New Paul's was well on its way before the delay and picked it right back up when play resumed. Bridget Bennett looks sharp and crisp on the mound, but she'll share a secret with us in her post-game interview about her pitching on this day. Bottom of the fifth with one on. Sarah Rubin ropes a shot to right. That bounces to the fence. Adriana Crimi comes all the way around to score. Rubin is in with a double. Ali Defoe shoots one through the wickets. Daniela Sackett scores as the pinch runner and Defoe is on second. In the sixth, Goshen trying to put something together with runners on first and second. A base hit to center. Ali Panuto comes up with it. She's got an arm and all the runners hold. A screamer to freshman Anna McDuffel. Makes a great stab, but a little hot potato allows Goshen to bring a run across. So New Pauls wastes no time getting that run back in the bottom half of the inning. Carly Giancola rips one down the left field line. Two batters later, Ali Panuto rips one to center. Giancola scores, and Panuto is in with a double. It was a hit parade for sure. Here's the final out as the New Paul softball team makes history with the school's first ever softball sectional title in a 16-5 win over Goshen. It's got to feel really good. Was it weighing on their minds that they know and they knew it, obviously? But was, did it factor into their abilities, into their play, into their psyche, into their stress level? I think it pumped them up even more. I mean, I think they wanted it more than ever. They wanted to make history, and that's what we came here to do. We've all worked so hard for this. We all wanted it this year, and we knew that this year was going to be the year for us. Started off a little slow, and then all of a sudden the bats started coming alive. Those two innings had really two big innings, and that kind of put it over the top. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've all been. Um, we, our bats, every single hitter in the lineup has had an amazing game at one point or another throughout the season. And I think that our lineup is, you know, what makes us win. So now uh, I'm not sure where all the banners are in school, probably the gym. Yeah. And there's probably nothing there for salt. Absolutely nothing. So let me talk me through what, you, what your feeling is going to be when you walk in the gym. Um, when I walk in the gym and I see that 1-6 up there, I think I might cry because I've been waiting for that since I was a freshman and it's finally up there now. My pitches weren't doing what they normally do so I was dependent on fastballs cause, and they also were laying off my rise so that wasn't working either and what was working for you you know really not much <laughs> but <laughs> it doesn't look like that but not much I was just throwing my fastball in and out changing heights because my drop ball I was throwing in the beginning he stopped calling it a strike so I had to change that um, game of adjustments Oh yeah, we had to make the adjustments and then I stopped swinging at my rise, so had, I'd take that out because that's just a waste pitch at this point, so just had to throw the fastball in and out, up and down, just had to pray that they were going to miss it. You as a coach, you, you've had your share of, of championships and everything else. Mm -hmm. How special is this for you to see these girls getting the first ever for New Paltz? Oh, it's absolutely wonderful. They have worked so hard. Um, you know, even with today's delay, they came back strong, which is, you know, which is incredible. It's, it's just such a special thing for all of them. And just for the rest of us, you know, we're so proud of them. And you know, as, as a coach, um, as a player, you know what it takes to, to be a champion. Uh, just convey to those underclassmen who are striving to be a champion what it would take for them to experience this kind of success in their sport. A lot of hard work. 
a lot of hard work, a lot of time in, and there, there, unfortunately there's some sacrifice that has to go on. I mean, people have missed games and proms and, you know, other special events, so it's a lot of sacrifice. But the hard work's worth it, especially when it turns out just like this. Good luck to New Prom.